Black Op Radio presents 50 Reasons for 50 Years. Why the Warren Commission may be the greatest fraud perpetrated on the American public. Now your host, Len Osanek. In tonight's episode, we discuss photographic evidence the Warren Commission didn't want you to see. Movie film and still photography. The aftermath of the assassination in Dealey Plaza. Expert Robert Groden discusses his observations. This is Robert Groden from Dallas, Texas. One of the things I wanted to discuss is filmed evidence that happened right after the assassination. We have several films taken by CBS TV, NBC TV, standard 8mm cameras in Dealey Plaza from bystanders that show the reactions of the crowds after the assassination. Now, clearly a lot of the people are standing around doing nothing after the shots are fired initially because they weren't aware the shots had been fired. We have a whole bunch of motorcycles backfiring. We have hundreds of people applauding, clapping, what have you. And a lot of people actually misunderstood what they were hearing. But those who were aware of what happened and those who did respond ran toward the grassy knoll. In many films, the Bell film, the Hughes film, the Nix film, in many of them we see witnesses paying attention to the knoll. No one is paying attention to the sixth floor of the Texas School Book Depository except for one man. That's Officer Marion Baker. He is the only one who ran toward the depository not because he thought shots were fired from there, but since he saw the pigeons on the roof fly away, he thought that something might have gone on up there, and he also wanted to get a better view of the plaza from up above, so he ran toward the depository. But everybody else, and I'm not just being facetious about this, I mean it, everybody else was paying attention to the grassy knoll. And that's where the witnesses said the shots came from. That's where NBC News photographer David Wigman actually filmed the smoke coming from behind the stockade fence. Anybody who feels that no shots came from the grassy knoll clearly does not know the evidence. If there was a shot from the grassy knoll, even one shot, and there was evidence of much more than one shot from the knoll, but even if there was just one, that means a second shooter and therefore a conspiracy. Stay tuned for the next installment as we expose week after week 50 lies the Warren Commission would like you to believe.